AMD recently unveiled FSR 2.1, which promises improvements to ghosting and flickering versus FSR 2.0. This is great for PC gamers because FSR 2.1 is open source and completely accessible online. Now, some people have already compiled the source files and put them up on Google Drive or other places. You can take these compiled DLL files and drop them into games that support FSR 2.0 and we'll actually upgrade the version to FSR 2.1. Hey guys, it's Connor from the Steel Lodge, and I was pretty interested to see what this would look like on the Steam Deck with games that support FSR 2.0. So today I checked out Spider-Man and Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Steam Deck to see how they would handle FSR 2.1 versus FSR 2.0. Let's jump right into it. Now the first thing I wanna cover is how to update the version of FSR 2.0 yourself. So for here, I have Spider-Man open and it's pretty straightforward. I have the FSR 2.1 files that CapframeX compiled and posted on Twitter. I went to the Google Drive, downloaded those DLL files, and then dropped them right into the Spider-Man folder, making sure to overwrite the ones that were already there. And with that, you're basically done. The first game we're looking at is Spider-Man Remastered. Now for this game, it was really easy to apply FSR 2.1 to patch it, but I honestly don't think this one has very bad ghosting for either DLSS or FSR 2.0. So I have a couple of scenes here. First off, I just have footage of us swinging through the city, and the performance numbers seem very similar between FSR 2.0 and 2.1. I'll zoom in on some shots here, but honestly, ghosting wise and image quality wise, I think the two are very similar and I don't notice any major upgrades. Even in some of these other shots with the helicopter moving around or birds flying around the city, they look very similar to me. This game doesn't have that much ghosting compared to some other games. Next, we have Red Dead Redemption 2. And out of all the games I tested today, this is the one where I saw the ghosting the most. It's not too bad or anything, but it is noticeable. Now, unfortunately for this one, you can access the DLL files for FSR, but if you do update them manually, the game will crash as it currently stands. Hopefully this one gets fixed up down the line because I'd really like to see the FSR 2.1 implementation in Red Dead 2 to see how much it can clean up the ghosting on certain objects that are moving. And I also tried out Chernobylite, Thymesia, and Deep Rock Galactic, but all those games were made in Unreal Engine 4. Because of this, the DLL files for FSR 2.0 aren't available to me, so I can't update them manually. Hopefully people can figure out a way to update these files down the line though. I also tested out Deathloop because this game does have some noticeable ghosting, but unfortunately the FSR 2.0 DLL was not available for me here either, so that means I can't manually update it. So as it currently stands, I was only really able to get Spider-Man working with FSR 2.1, and even there we didn't see that much improvement at all. FSR 2.0, 2.1, and the future versions will be coming to many games down the line, and hopefully these games have easily accessible DLL files for their FSR versions. That way we can manually update them and not have to rely on the developer giving us an update if it ever comes at all. For the time being on the Steam Deck, I don't really think it's worth it to update these files, but down the line when future versions do come out, hopefully we can drop them in and see big improvements. That's about all though guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I've got a video coming out about a game not a lot of people played and going back and revisiting it. Have a good one everybody.